everybody. Welcome to this short lesson on common chord modulations. We're going to look at that hymn, Come You Thankful People, because it has a very simple example of a modulation in it. Um, let's just look at the second line for right now. All is safely gathered in, or the winter storms begin. We start in F major, although it's on the sixth chord here. Now this next part of the phrase ends up cadencing in another key. So what key am I moving to here? You can see there's a lot of B naturals. There's no more B flats. You can see that there's a, a 5-1 gesture. Fa, sol, sol, do, moving to C. And so C major looks like the likely key. That would be the reason why we're using the B naturals. So today we're going to talk about how uh, you would analyze these kinds of passages with modulations in them. Um, those two keys, F major and C major, are closely related keys. And any pair of keys that are closely related are going to have some triads in common. And you can use one of these common chords to, as what we call a pivot chord that will pivot between those two related keys in the modulation. And so we call this uh, common chord modulation. There's, there's going to be a chord in common between the, that's shared between those two keys. So here's an example of those uh, two keys, F major and C major. In the key of F, I have an F major 1, G minor 2, A minor 3, B flat major 4, C major 5, D minor 6, and the E diminished 7. Now if we can compare those with the chords that happen in the key of C, we'll see there are some that are the same. So in C major, um, let's start over here. Uh, I do have a, a C major chord. That's the one chord in C. So those are in common. My two chord in C major is D, D minor. But my three chord in C major is E minor, not E diminished. So that is not a common chord there. Keep going up and I get to F major. That is the same exact chord as the F major chord in, in the key of F, the one chord. Then in C major I get a G major chord for five, so that's not, again, a common chord because G minor and G major are not the same. Uh, but I do have a A minor chord, the six, so that's a shared chord between them. And then the last one is uh, in the key of C major, B diminished, so there's no common chord there either. But there are uh, four different chords that can be used as a pivot chord between those two keys because they are held in common between uh, F major and C major. So let's look at the procedure for how this works. Um, to find a common chord in a passage that you know is modulating, look, a, look into the music and find the first chord that seems to work better in the new key, one that doesn't work in the old key at all. Um, so find that chord, the new chord. And then back up one chord, and that will typically be a pivot chord. That will be your common chord. So find the one that doesn't work, then back up one. Um, and to show the how those that particular that shared chord that common chord would be interpreted in both keys, we use this pivot chord symbol, kind of like a zigzag, to show that in the key of F, for example, if I had this progression, a two chord in F would be the same as a six chord in the key of B flat. Let me see if I can play that for you. So if I'm in F major, I would have. That becomes in the key of D a six two five one, right? So I just moved to B flat major uh, by using the two and the six as a uh, common chord modulation. Now let's apply that same idea to come you thankful people. <coughs> so let's continue our analysis of this um, hymn. It starts in F major. By the time we get to the end of the phrase, we're cadencing in. C major. Storms begin as a cadential 6 4, 5 7, 1. Right, so we end the phrase in C major. Now let's try to find the common chord between them. Remember, we look for the first chord that works best in the new key of C, uh, and it's this one, right? The one with the B natural. So according to 
the procedure I explained, we would go back one chord and use this one as our pivot chord. So if we do that, uh, it's an F major chord, so in the old key it's F, which is one, sorry, and in the new key it is my four chord. So we're going to start C major here, pivot on the F major chord, and then we'll just need to fill in the rest of the chords in the new key, and this is what that would look like. So all of these chords function in C major, and all these chords function in F major. Listen to that one more time. <coughs> So there's a simple exam example of a pivot chord modulation or a common chord modulation. So here's some um, advice about how you can find modulations in music. Um, usually it's easier to hear them than to see them, but if you know what you're looking for, you can also see modulations in the music. Uh, the first thing to look for is a consistent use of accidentals that would belong to another key. So if I am in C major and then I start to see B flats everywhere consistently, then perhaps I'm in uh, a key with a flat in it. Maybe I've modulated to F major. Um, most importantly, though, you should listen for and look for cadences in the other key. The cadences are what confirm that you've modulated, so that's what you should really be looking for. Um, that will help you to distinguish between a, a modulation and just a tonicization of another key, a brief tonicization. So there's uh, cadential patterns that you can learn to recognize, such as cadential 6-4 going to 5-7 to 1. So, so, do, that sort of 5-1 uh, uh, motion <coughs> will help you to identify cadences. If you see a lot of these sol dos, uh, a lot of these cadences in another key, or sorry, 5-1s in another key, then you probably modulated to that key. So those are some things to look for. Um, so that's pretty much it for uh, common chord modulations. We'll start to apply this in class soon. And uh, go ahead and take the quiz that follows. <coughs>